Welcome to this session on creating an organization data set. Again, this is an optional customization, but if you would like to create your own company standard data set to place on your network and use in place of the delivered regional data set, which is installed with the software. So in order to do this, we're going to start by, by copying one of the delivered data sets and placing it on our network and then reporting some configurations to make that the standard data set. So on the C drive or the local drive under the program data, Bentley Open Buildings Connect Edition folder, there is a configuration folder. And under that is the data sets folder. And you would have here listed any data sets which you selected when you installed Open Building Designer. So in this example, I'm going to select the data set US. And I'm simply going to copy that. Then I'm going to come over to my W drive under this CE configuration, and I'm going to paste that right here. So we'll select paste. So that's copying everything that's in the delivered data set, and then you could go in there and you could customize that as needed. And I'm going to rename this as data set XYZ or whatever your company initials are. So now all of that data is on my network. All I need to do is get the configurations pointed there rather than the local hard drive. So again, I'm going to use the Configuration Explorer. So again, I'm going to select the XYZ workspace, and I'll go ahead and select the project 123. I'm actually going to set this variable in the project configuration because that's typically where we set up the the default data set. Let me go ahead and process that. Ideally, you'd probably want to set this in that project template so that every time you created a new project, it was already the default. So let's take a look at the variable explore. I'm going to type in uh, data sets here to filter this. And you can see this is the, the variable where we need to reset that TF data sets variable. And note that currently that's pointed to our local drive, that program data, Bentley Open Buildings Connect Edition Configuration Data Sets folder. So that's where it's looking for data sets. That's what we want to change. We want to have that look to our W drive for the data sets, and then we simply have to give it the correct data set name. So let's go back to our file history. Scroll down here, and I'm again, I'm going to set this in the project 123 config. So you can see here the TF dataset name variable is already set in this project configuration. And all I'm going to do for that one is change the name. So this will be the XYZ dataset that I just copied into my network drive. But I first need to define that TF datasets location. So I'm going to come up here and put that variable in. And I want that to equal that W drive, that network location, but we actually have a configuration variable that we can put in here that will define that location. So I'm actually going to put this in as a variable. So we're going to use the dollar sign and then parentheses, and then it's underbar USTN underbar custom underbar configuration. And then we'll close the parentheses. So this defines the location to look for the data set, and this defines the data set name, and that will be the default data set now for the project. So I'm going to save that. We'll rescan the workspace. And let's go back and do the variable explorer one more time just to make sure. And we can see here now that the TF data set location has been reset to our WCE configuration drive. So I'll go ahead and close everything up here. And let's real quick just open up Open Buildings Designer. So again, we're still selecting the XYZ workspace and our Project 123. I'm going to open up the Model 2 that we created. We'll open up the Family and Part Editor. So we can see here again our project 
data is on the P drive. We have the XYZ workspace for the, the workspace data. And there we now have the data set XYZ as our default standard data set. And it has all the data that we copied there from the regional data set. And we could go in there now and modify this. And all those modifications are happening on the network. And in the next session, we'll take a look at how to create additional workspaces and work sets. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.